Hello everyone, The316 here with another Morphin Monday Lightning Collection review. This time, I got the Dino Fury Blue Ranger from Wave, I want to say 13. That sounds right. Uh, Wave 13. Might be 14, but I'm pretty sure it's 13. Anyway, uh, retails for $24.99. However, I got mine for free from a, a Twitter or X giveaway, so shout out to Raz Razzle. Uh, I'll leave a link to his uh, Twitter X profile in the description if I don't forget to. But I wanted to shout him out because otherwise I probably wouldn't have bought this figure anytime soon. So let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that uh, Ollie here comes with. So first of all, we get an alternate head here, which uh, looks pretty good. Looks just like the actor, I'd say. It's... Uh, I'm not going to say perfect, but it's very close. I'll just throw that to the side. Next up, we get uh, four different hands here. So the alternate hands I have that are not on the figure is a right blue fist, a left uh, open grabbing hand, and then on the figure we have a kind of like posing open hand for the silver on the left there, and a right blue holding hand. Last accessories here, if I can get it off of them. We have the Dino Fury Saber and this effect piece, which we've seen a, a few times. Uh, we will take a look at the comparison between the Dino Fury Sabers to see if they're a different color. As you can see, because of the plastic free packaging, mine is bent uh, quite considerably. So uh, just a little bit of heat from like a hair dryer or some hot water should do. But uh, yeah, that's kind of annoying. I'm just going to stick those to the side. Uh, and before we get to the figure, I want to show the box real quick. Uh, so there's the front of the box. There's your Legally side. There's your Dino Fury logo side. On this side, we got Portrait of the Helmet. We got Dino Fury Blue Ranger. On the back, we have his name. And we have another render here as well. Uh, standard plastic-free packaging box. Nothing uh, too special, really. All right, now we can take a look at the figure itself. So I'm I'm not going to say I'm disappointed. I'm just kind of underwhelmed with this figure. You know, we had a precedent with the other two, and this one, it follows it, but it doesn't do anything to, you know, improve upon the prior two releases. As you can see, it does reuse the old pinned uh, uh, parts. I uh, would really like them to have at least done pinless legs. They could have done that, but the arms, they would have had to make a new mold for the forearms. So uh, that does suck. But basically, this figure is uh, entirely reused from red. They just, the only difference is the helmet. Speaking of which, the helmet here is not painted silver. It's just molded silver. So let me grab green here. And you can see the light hits it differently. On camera, it's not noticeable, but when I push them back, I think it's very noticeable. Uh, really disappointed that they didn't paint uh, that part silver, especially considering it's a separate piece. They could have painted it silver, but anyway, I guess it just wasn't in the budget. Ugh, I don't know. Uh, uh, torso here, you can see there are a few uh, scratches of paint on mine. And actually, I did watch a few episodes of Dino Fury since Cosmic Fury came out a couple days ago, and I probably should catch up. Uh, I see what people are saying about this logo not being uh, accurate. So in the show, it's more squared off, whereas uh, on the figure, it's more of a curved design, as you can see. Uh, I mean, it doesn't look bad. I still like it somewhat. Did they continue this design all the way down? They did, so they at least kept that. I will say the silver plastic on this figure is a little darker, and the silver paint on the torso doesn't seem as bright compared to red's, which, let me grab him real quick. You can see red looks a lot shinier and a lot nicer. I like red more. I I am tempted to just get another red figure and uh, do some kit bashing and then uh, just take the arm and legs from this guy, pop them over here, and then just paint the side red because this silver is much, much nicer than this silver. Yeah, it doesn't come up as nicely on camera, but I just think Zato's looks way better, just in comparison. Let me put his saber in here so you can see that it does fit, although uh, I did have troubles getting it out when I pushed it in all the way. It is a bit of a tight fit. That and it might uh, 
damage the paint on the uh, sword itself, the silver. Uh, one other thing I wanted to note is his helmet here. Let me, if you can take a listen. Very squeaky. So this head doesn't actually fit on the ball joint. They, I believe, use the new ball joint, which is uh, flat on the top. And the hole in the helmet itself is not big enough to accommodate the ball joint. So it kind of just sits on top there, making him look a, a bit taller with the helmet on. If I compare him to Zato, you can see much more of the white is showing on the front. And on the back, there's uh, the white showing. So... Uh, I think they really just bombed the helmet on this figure. I think everything else is fine, but, like, I really don't like the helmet. I don't think mine is a defect. It's not something I would contact Hasra over, because, you know, it fits on there fine, and, you know, it's not coming off, but it, it's just, it feels like this helmet was made for a different figure, like a basic figure. It's not, but that's certainly what it feels like. Anyway, I think it's time to get on to size comparisons here. So let's start off with this. The back of the package said he was 6.18. And I'll write the swords in the way. <laughs> Forgot. Uh, he, yeah, I'd say he's about 6.18. He's pretty close to there. Almost closer to 6 and a quarter, I'd say. And since I showed them off already, here's a red and green. And yeah, you know, Dino Fury's coming along. Just need uh, pink, black, and gold. And the Morphin Masters, if you really care about them. But I don't really. Alright, let's see how Ollie looks next to some other figures. Marvel Legends, Iron Man, Extremis Armor. Oop. My Batman fell off the stand. Let me put him back on there. We have uh, McFarlane, Nightfall Batman. He's having some trouble standing. Don't mind him. He's just being a pain. Come on, get on there, you. No, 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 stay. Batman's just being Batman, doing his own thing. Gotta stop the crime. <laughs> um, more Hasbro lines. We have G.I. Joe Classified, Tiger Force Outback. Another Lightning Collection figure. We have Dino Thunder Black. And another Lightning Collection figure. We got Mighty Morphin Blue. Uh, just a few more here. We have the, what is it? I always forget, Jazzwares, Jaded Toys, uh, Spartan Yoroi from the Spartan Collection. Mattel WWE Elite 100. John Cena. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I'm stalling because he can't stand. Do, 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 do. Come on, you. Eh, he has trouble standing. I'll just, uh, there you go. And uh, since I always like to put him in these, here's Karen Atrocitus. He's a tall boy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, I don't fully recommend this figure unless you really like Blue Rangers, Dino Fury, uh, you like the design, etc. Uh, I just think this figure is a bit too underwhelming for me. I wish that they did uh, more of it. It's exactly what it needs to be, but uh, with the helmet being too small, for the neck peg and the lack of silver paint on the visor itself, I just can't fully recommend this figure. I think it's fine if you're a completionist, sure, but uh, uh, again, shout out to Raz for giving this to me for free in a giveaway. But anyway, if you guys want to support this channel, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell. It all helps out, and as always, peace.